Yeah, hi there guys and welcome to this demo of Pixel Modo. And what I'm gonna do first is log in to the software and that's the dashboard and we'll have a look at that in just a moment. But I wanna show you something really cool before we start and that's the image grabber. So I'm in Google Images at the moment and I've got the images sorted by labeled for reuse. So uh, this is Creative Commons. And what I'm gonna do now is right click and I'm gonna open the image inside the editor. So that allows me to edit this image, which happens to be a Creative Commons image, uh, which means it doesn't have any copyright issues. Uh, so I can use it for my marketing purposes. And what you can do here, guys, you can add backgrounds. We'll have a look at that in just a moment. You can add, you can add filters, but what I wanna show you now is another really cool feature and that's the text and the quotes so the uh, software is actually uh, connected with a uh, database of quotes and uh, let me just search for something uh, in the area of success and let's look for something that's not too long that's going to fit into this image go with this one here and i'm just going to put it here on the side and I can uh, make it bold and I can change the colors. So why don't we go for something that's nice and bright for us. And I can have some shadows and I can have it blurred as well. So I can do all of that. And then the other thing I can do is I can just add a normal text. I'm not gonna do that now, I will do I'll show this to you later on, but we'll get rid of that for now. But you can also uh, add a filter to the entire image. So for example, you can add a color overlay like this. For example, let's find us something a little bit prettier like that, more subtle. And then you can darken the image as well and you can blur it as well. You can saturate it and play around with the hues and the brightness and the contrast. So you can do all of that within the image. And then once you've got, once you sort of got it the way that you want it to look, you can actually share it. Now we have two sharing facilities. The first one is with team members. So virtual assistants or co-workers, and then you just hit the share button, or you can share it on social media to make the quote, to make your image go viral. So that's the other thing that you can do. And then you can save it and you can download it. And you can see that there is a different sort of uh, types of images you can download and save it as. So that's one thing that I wanted to show you. The other one is the text grabber. So you can do a, sort of a similar thing to what you've just seen, but you can do that with text as well. So if I right click on the text and I get it to here, and then what I can do now is let's have a look at the background facility. So uh, there is millions of these backgrounds are all copyright free. So why don't we look at say affiliate marketing or just affiliate. Let's run a quick search. Why don't we go for something that we know is going to be nice and bright to be able to add this image to. So why don't we go for this say and uh, we can make this just visible you can play around with the text color and then again we can filter the image we can darken it we can blur it saturate hue brightness and contrast are all things that we can play with as well so that's another really really cool feature that we have and then what I want to do now, let me just close these down and let's just go 
back to the library. So that's your default setting when you log in. And what you need to do is create a new design. And what I want to do now is show you the various design formats that exist. There's quite a few of these, or you can just choose your own custom. And what I also want to show you, we also have merchandise. You can choose t-shirt designs, but what I want to do now is just show you the various templates that we have as well on the software. And so you can either go with a blank template or you can choose a template from the library. So why don't we go for say uh, this lady here and then you can start the design by clicking the button on the left. So there's no need for a background here because we've already got the image set up. But what we can do again is we can, for example, add a nice quote to this. We just need to be sure that it's gonna be visible. So let's make that white. Let's uh, use the preset facility. So there you have it. So we have a nice quote on here and then you can, again, you can filter the image. So you can do different color effects like that and you can darken it or lighten it and you can blur it a little bit or as much as you want, saturate and then play around with the hue, the brightness and the contrast and then once that's done you can save but before that let me just show you some of the icons that we have so again there is uh, millions of these and I'm gonna go I think that's a nice bit of image to go for a Pinterest share because I want people to share it on Pinterest so let's so move that so all the elements are editable so I'm just gonna have that on the side like that for Pinterest. So that's my icons just there. And as I said, there's loads and loads of these. And we can also add some shapes. So again, there's loads and loads of shapes. Undo, redo, and then you can move a layer back or move a layer forward and then share, save, and download. So hopefully you found this short tutorial uh, beneficial and we look forward to seeing you on the inside and join the software speak to you soon all the best